Hey guys, in this video, we will see an extension called HTTP client in order to execute APIs. VS Code is very popular among developers and we rely on external tools like Postman, Insomnia in order to test and execute our APIs. In this video, we will see an VS Code extension called REST client. So you can go to your VS Code extensions Search for REST client and you will have a result from Ho Chao Mao, who is the author. Install this extension. In my case, I already have this installed. In addition to this, I already have my API running on port 3000 on my local host, which exposes certain APIs related to order service. In order to get started, we need to create a file with extension.http. So let us create that. Let me call this file API test and I need to end it with extension HTTP. Once we do so, we will have a file open within our VS Code editor. The syntax is very simple. We need to specify the HTTP method type along with the URL that we want to execute. In this case, we want to execute localhost 3000. For that, we need to type in the method type that is get along with the URL that is localhost colon 3000. Once you do so, you will see an option called send request. Click on it. Once you click, you will see the response along with the headers written in your right hand side of the pane. Great. What if you had to specify multiple APIs within the same file? In order to do so, you need to separate your definitions using triple hash. So you type in three hash and then you can define your other APIs. Let's say I want to execute a post API to create an order which takes in a JSON body. To do so, we need to specify the method type that is post along with the URL that is localhost colon 3000 slash orders. Since this is a post call, we need to indicate that it is a JSON. So we define a header called content type, which is application slash JSON. If you had more headers, then you could just mention it in subsequent lines. Just leave a blank space and then specify your JSON that would act as a request body. I already have this here, which takes in the email and certain items. Once done, click on send request. You see, we have the response coming in from our API with ID 24, along with headers like 201 created and so on. Great. If you notice something here, we are duplicating this localhost 3000 everywhere within our file. And this is not what we want. We would want this to be in some kind of a variable. Going forward, it needs to come from certain environments and so on. So in order to do so, let us first define a variable. In order to define a variable, you can just go on top of your file. Specify your variable name, which is prefixed with at the rate. So let's say I want to define a variable called host. So I need to type in at the rate along with my name of the variable that is host and give a value to it. So let's say localhost colon 3000. Once you do so, you notice it says zero references because we haven't referenced this host variable anywhere within our definition. In order to reference, you need to use so-called double curly braces syntax, right? Which is widely used within React as well as handlebar syntax, right? So what we do is we give this nomenclature or convention and specify our variable that is host. Once you define it, you will notice it says one reference. And if you hover, on that variable, it will resolve to the value that we had defined, that is 
http localhost colon 3000 i can click on send request to test if everything works well and it does so what we will do is we will ensure to change this everywhere right great so now i have my variables and even this works well one of the features that we would want is once we create something we would need the response variable or the response value to be used in some other apis now for example here i specify a create order the response has an id field and i would want this id field or the value of this id to be used in our next api that is let's say get order by id in order to achieve that what you need to define is basically you need to let this extension know that whatever the response is uh, received we need to store it within a context so in order to do so specify hash at the rate name this is mandatory and give a name to your api let's say create order so what this will do is whatever is the response from this api it will store within this create order context so once it is stored in this context we will be able to reference this in our subsequent api so what we will do is now define a get order by id api and use this value of id in that api so i separate it with triple hash let us define a variable which will hold this value let's call it order id so i do at the rate order id and within here i do create order dot response dot now within this response we will have access to the body as well as the headers in this example i am interested in the value from the body so i click on body i specify the dot body okay i have a typo here so it should be response dot body and the variable that i am interested in is id okay so now once i have this i can reference this order id in my api so let's say get host slash orders slash order id so once i do that you will notice this reference becomes one and if i hover above it it says value as 23 now it, it is because i had executed this before so what we can do is we can execute this send request again and now if i hover above this order id you will see the value is 26 which is matching this create order response i can do a send request and here i get cool until now we have seen how we can define or execute get post api specify headers use variables use the values from one response onto another and so on Another feature that is widely used within Postman is the usage of environments and global tokens or global variables. The same is also available within this extension and it is very easy to use. So let us see that in action. So in order to define a shared variable or define environment, what we need to do is we need to go onto the preferences, click on settings, search for rest client okay click on the rest client and scroll down where you will see certain things called environment variables if you notice there is this environment variable section here click on edit in settings.json so this will open you the settings.json within your vs code and it has already a key called shared as the name depicts it means that whatever you define within this shared will be available across your 
environment and across your context so this will act more like a global variable okay let us see if we have this uh, option let's say api key which is shared and let us give some value here my api key so api key is defined within our shared context which will be global and at the same time we can define different environment by just specifying the name of the environment okay and it's an object and within that object we can define our key value pairs let's say host which is http localhost colon 1000 let's say the another environment that we have is dev and within that we could have the same variable called host but now holding some different value that is example.com okay so once we define this we can come back to our api test okay and if you click on Control alt e on your keyboard okay and let's say we select it gives you all the environments that are there that is no environment local and dev okay let's say if we had no environment you will notice that okay let us remove this at the rate host because we have defined this in environment right now right so i remove it you will notice that it is giving us an error saying that the host is not found because we have not selected any environment but at the same time if we define an header let's say authorization which uses the variable that we had defined in the shared context that will get resolved right if you okay this is a mistake okay if you notice says api key is not found if you go back it is api key with k capital so if i change this to api key you will notice that it is not giving us any error and if we hover it says my api key that is it has successfully resolved the value to my this variable and this value is coming in from this shared context but this host variable is defined as part of the environment so in order for this values to be resolved i need to do Control alt e and select the environment let's select local and once i do so these values are resolved so since i selected local environment you will see the value as localhost colon 3000 okay similarly if i had selected dev you will notice that this host now references to example.com so let us change back to local the other way what you could do is you could go to your taskbar or the status bar of your vs code and here there is this environment specified you could click on it which would open the same window and you could select the environment that you wish to use let's say local in this case once i select i can just do send and execute all my apis as we define great one of the other things is that since this is just a file we could commit this into our source code repository and any developers who uses this application could use this file within their vs code ecosystem and execute the apis to see if everything works well cool so this is all i wanted to share as part of this video if this video was helpful and helped you gain some knowledge please do like this video share this among your friends etc connections and do subscribe to my channel until then have a good day this is durgadas signing off